Cina delle Rose presentava Mario Riva e c'era il papà di Ennio Morigone, suonavano insieme. Un trombista strumento, tu farai lo stesso con la tua famiglia, con te stesso. È finita. Ah, beh, mi comprò una troppa usata, però lo facciamo. Morricone riguardo a Petrassi ha sempre specificato che l'aveva scelto come insegnante. La segretaria mi disse subito. Uh, I am uh, Alfonso Tagliaferri, I'm the Consul General of Italy in Bengaluru. I have arrived a few months ago to open the new Consul General of Italy in Bengaluru that will open its physical doors next March, April, let's say next year, in the spring of next year. But in the meantime, we've been already promoting trade, we've been promoting university and scientific exchanges, and we've been promoting culture. In particular, we had design shows, we had contemporary art shows, and these Italian screens, it's a festival on the best of what Italian movies have to show nowadays. It's been uh, uh, organized together, of course, with the embassy in Delhi, with other, uh, the other consuls uh, generals in Mumbai and in Calcutta, and with the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Rome. Basically, we decided to bring to India and to Bangalore, of course, because now we're opening in Bangalore, uh, a little selection of uh, the best of what contemporary Italian cinema has to offer. Not just blockbusters or something easy or something just that sell, but something quality, art cinema, that uh, uh, you know, Indians, viewers, which are interested in movies, will appreciate. Today, at the Bangalore International Center, we open with a VIP preview and we uh, have shown uh, Ennio. It's a, it's a movie about the legendary, I would say, composer Ennio Morricone, who recently passed away. He composed more than 500 scores for cinema, from a lot of Italian movies to the famous spaghetti westerns of Leone until uh, Quentin Tarantino or uh, Brian De Palma, or I mean, a lot of Italian, uh, of American directors also worked for him. He won two Oscars, he was nominated for six Oscars. I mean, a really great composers. And I believe that the public tonight experience uh, like a long journey through Italian and world cinema hearing beautiful Italian music. So I hope that people will go home and uh, open their Spotify or any streaming account and look for Ennio Morricone uh, to listen to his beautiful music and look for also Italian cinema. But if you want to see it live, you can just go to the Phoenix Mall in Whitefield from tomorrow for the next three days and watch six beautiful Italian movies. If you want to know more, about what, we, what kind of culture we bring to Bengaluru and to uh, India, uh, please follow us on Italy in BLR, Italy in Bengaluru. And there will be much more. We have a dance show coming in just 10 days. Well, Indian movies and Italian movies, I mean, Indian cinema and Italian cinema are very diverse to each other, but there's always been a link since the time of uh, Rossellini coming to, to meet uh, Satyajit Ray and Pasolini and Mira Nair uh, that were uh, actually awarded in Venice. I think that probably Italian cinema and Indian cinema um, talk to the heart of the people, you know, to the, to, to the everyday struggles that we have. So they are a little bit always kind of bittersweet. So there is a lot of softness, a lot of tenderness, there is laughter, but there are also the, the everyday struggles of life. And, so, uh, and also they are very much uh, imbibed into the culture of the family. Uh, so parents, relatives, brother, love. Um, so I think there are many, many similarities. Then, of course, uh, we have our own uh, differences. Uh, I thought that this was a, a long movie, but, but if you think about uh, big Bollywood movies, they're actually even much longer. So uh, I'm glad that uh, all the audience stayed till the end. Uh, the responses have been great. And I hope that uh, people in particular who live in the east of Bangalore, in Wentfield, will uh, fill up the uh, the rooms for the Italian screens. This is the first year that we are doing this, uh, uh, this festival. I hope we can continue also in the next year, but uh, this was important to establish to, to plant a seed. And for example, uh, in the framework of this uh, venture, we signed with India a three years program to increase co-productions and collaboration. So to have more cinema, uh, Italian cinema in India and more Indian cinema in Italy, in particular for shooting. We just had a couple of weeks ago uh, a shooting from, uh, of the actor Prabhas uh, that shot in Italy. Uh, I'm not sure about the, the, the title of the movie, but I know that Prabhas was shooting there. Uh, today we have uh, also Ms. Subash that was uh, attending the movie. So there is definitely a link and we will uh, work on this link to make it stronger.
difficult to say. I'm not an expert on Indian movies, but I've watched a few. Uh, I was clearly fascinated, I have to say, from the old movies, in particular as the Jitre. You know, I was posted briefly in Calcutta before coming here, and you know, all Bengali uh, cinema, in particular the cinema of the Jitre, from its photography to the screenplay, talks a little bit, uh, talks a lot about what we had in Italy, also in the 50s, in the 60s, etc. Uh, the movies of Mira Nair, of course, but also contemporary movies. I, I watch a lot of also of short movies uh, on platform like movie, and I, I discovered the variety of India, the variety of uh, traditions that you have here, from movies shot only with an iPhone to movies uh, shot with with more means, of course, uh, and also to Bollywood movies. You know, um, for example, one of the first movie I watched when I arrived was Shole. Uh, you know, an old uh, Bollywood movie, and, and, and I was quite fascinated by this movie. Another Bollywood movie I watched uh, was quite, quite interesting, was uh, I think uh, DDL, uh, possible? Yes, um, and I also enjoyed it very much, the love story, the move to Switzerland, which is quite, you know, interesting and curious for us. So I'm trying to watch as, as uh, much uh, Indian cinema I can in my little free time, but I'm enjoying it very much. If you are a little bit uh, maybe bored of watching uh, only Hollywood movies or maybe also Bollywood movies and you want to watch something really different, maybe cut a couple of hours of your time and go to the PVR to see, again, something different, something that maybe will string different chords in your soul and we, it will bring you to Italy and to its uh, you know, diversity and uniqueness.